Hello guys, uh, here I'm connected uh, my T100 analyzer and I'm measuring wow and flutter results so far balanced between 0 0.035 to 0 0.045 sometimes it's high, sometimes a little bit lower mostly it's uh, it's fine for this deck, it's probably not the best we can get uh, but this age is still pretty good parameters. We don't have any extra high pikes. This one on 12 gears sometimes gets higher and then it's lower when we go below 0 0.04. It's, it's, you see 0 0.0, 38, 39, 40, 37, 40. All right good results now let's see uh, parameters for frequency response playback we already measured it now we will be doing recording frequency response so let me put a uh, normal tape into it uh, here setting up level so zero decibel and we in the source zero decibel. So let's check one more time recording and tape, and it's the same. All right, and now I may go to white noise minus 20. And that's what we have. So a little bit not even uh, on the high range between left and right channel but I've been tuning on 10 kilohertz and on 10 kilohertz it was mostly even I let me turn it a little bit so here we will use these two holes so left and right channel and there is uh, capacitors so they're not not easy turn so that's why I have to use a metal screwdriver okay. it's, it's quite complex to, to get into the position Okay, give me a second, uh, we'll meet you soon. Okay, I'm back. I'm adjusted a little bit. As you may see, I pulled right channel a little bit higher uh, to make sure that here on the right side, on the high frequencies, we will be closer to the left. So all in all, now both are a little bit higher. You should be able to see it on the calibration bias. Yes, you see. Uh, high frequencies are higher, so we need to add bias a little bit to make it more even. And now we can see it should be flattened up. Right? So up to 14 kilogears we have almost flat line. But we may add a little bit. I reduce bias a little bit and add high frequencies and it will be nice. All right, type one, good. Now, type two. Recording. See on type 2 bias <laughs> a little bit higher on the right channel and here I am tuning the bias up so you see how much I can add on the type 2 tape it's almost 8 decibel or reduce uh, in the later generation decks for some reason you see reducing minus 15 decibel they removed this capability they left like a uh, 3 decibel on the normal tape, plus minus, and uh, 
like uh, two decibel on the chrome tape and one decibel only on the metal tape. That's it. So you don't adjust too much. Unless it's very, very good high-end deck like 555 Sony or like K7, those do a little bit more. But uh, all the decks which has just one bias control, they don't do that. All right. So there was a question in my video with tech that if I use frequency sweep, results will be the different. So it is not. For my practice, everything is the same. And check yourself. Okay, 18 kilohertz minus 3 decibel. Good. And now I'm switching to the white noise and see the difference. Almost no difference, really. Okay. And the last would be the metal tape. Uh, let's try this time uh, Sony. Okay, uh, let's see, type 4, cording, and uh, with Sony we need to reduce bias as usual, like that, make it more flat, <laughs> maybe too much, maybe something like that, All right. and we have 20 kilohertz minus 3 decibel as in spec, really nice results. Good, let's see, bias, even, levels, that's what we may adjust a little bit, left and right. Uh, bias, even, that's what we're recording, pretty nice. Just for the case, minus 10 decibel. Wow, it's close to Nakamichi. Minus 6. Still pretty good, really. I believe this uh, Nakamichi screws which I installed <laughs> into this deck <laughs> affect and it's placed like Nakamichi and records. So. That's good results. I'm very happy for the owner. It's a really nice deck. Has still in very good shape. Everything rocks. Uh, works perfectly. So... That would be it. I will assemble and do a sound demo as usual. So stay tuned. I hope you will like it. See you. Bye-bye.